What is going on lads and welcome back to Pokemon FIFA. This is the big one, this is episode 34 and it is gym battle number 3. Now we're going to be going up against Lieutenant Serge who is going to be represented by the one and only Nepenthes. So I would say link in the description, go and check out his channel but come on guys, it's Nepo, he's the biggest subscribed FIFA only YouTube commentator, director, whatever you want to say. Excluding KSI because he's not 100% FIFA, Nepenthes is the next biggest. So, obviously, you're all going to be subscribed to him and know who he is anyway. Also, just before we are getting into it while we are searching through these trash cans, if you want to build yourself a team like the one that is featured in this video, it's a quite expensive team. It is all informed. There's a link down in the description to a video of a squad builder of it if you want to see which team I am using. There's also a link down there to Ultimate Team Coin Traders where you can go and get yourself some coins so that you can build a team just like this one. Now, we have done the little puzzle underneath the trash cans, pressing the switches to open up the door to get through to Lieutenant Serge, and he is telling us that he is the Electric Gym Battler, or the Electric Gym, or whatever you want to call it. He's the guy who's got the Raichu, if you'd ever watched the series. I just remember that episode pretty vividly. And he has got a horrendously sweaty team. He's got Naldo, he's got Felipe Santana, he's got Dede, he's got Neymar, Emma Nike, Wellerton, Carlos Eduardo, Ramirez, Hulk, and I can't remember the name of the other centre defensive mid. I think it's Tiago, but either way, it's the most overpowered team you could probably possibly build on the whole of Ultimate Team. So when I was discussing with Nep about this game, asking him what team he was going to use, he was saying, oh no, I'm not sweaty, I'm not a sweaty kind of player. And then he rocks up with that, and you'll see he almost scored straight from the kickoff with a ridiculous long shot from Neymar as well. So I was pretty shit in my pants after that thinking oh christ this is not going to go well but we did have the next chance getting down the line unfortunately we couldn't get torres's head on the end of the cross and then he does catch us on a break with mnek who is arguably the fastest and strongest player on this game and it is absolutely mental you can see there he just runs straight round kashelli he just powers straight through both of the defense and then he just smashes it across the keeper unfortunately parries it out to neymar and gives nep the lead in the ninth minute so not the start that we were hoping for in the ninth minute and that is exactly how it continued on as well when he got the ball on the corner of the box and did all this shuffling backwards and forwards, I literally couldn't deal with it at all. And he gets a little bit lucky that it bounces back to him, takes the shot and wins himself that corner. And in the corner, he swings the corner in and I was just expecting to get absolutely killed now. FIFA didn't seem to be going my way at all. And that's exactly how it pans out. You can see, trying to clear it away in vain, blocking it, but it somehow drops to Naldo, who just taps it under the keeper and gets a little bit more of an AIDS goal. Probably slightly more AIDS than the first one, because a deflection to me player isn't too bad. So, first of his lucky goals there, and I say first, because he did just keep coming on the attack. Once more, going down the line with Wellington. Literally couldn't deal with him going inside and out, backwards and forwards, chopping inside, cutting back out. And he's just running rings around my defence. Luckily that time we do pick it up with Diego Alves and Stemmer's attack and then we actually go on a pretty decent attack ourselves. A nice through ball to Torres there, he's dragging us back and he comes across but we chop him and then turn back inside and he fouls us so we do get that free kick. Now a lot of you will probably know that I am not the best at free kicks but Santi Cazorla's free kicks are awesome. So we line this one up nice and slowly making sure we get it perfect because if this goes in it could change the game. We hit the bar, we hit the back of the goalkeeper, he somehow gets backspin on it jumps back into his hands and as he's running forward he just stops it from going over the line so I was massively pissed off that that didn't go in and then Nep went back on the attack and just started peppering my goal some more. We did have a couple more chances towards the end of the half again this one could have went in there from Torres if there was a bit more of near post OP and then that was the end of half time so we had even the game out slightly more towards the end we were getting back on top and getting some chances ourselves but it was still 2-0 at half time. You can see the match stats there he has had Possession's pretty even and he's had two more shots and two more on target so they have proved to be decisive as he is two goals in front. So we needed to turn that round in the second half and we got straight on the attack when we kicked off. We give the ball off to Theo Walcott who just plays it nicely across the box. Little bit of lag there from my terrible connection unfortunately means we didn't get the pass but it does drop to Tarat and then drops to Fellaini and then drops to Santi Gazzola and every single time his defenders blocked it and the interceptions on them players is just absolutely ridiculous. He was playing on defensive for all of the game I think because when he took corners you could see that there was only a couple of players up so he basically just had a wall in front of me and a wall with about 90 interceptions so he couldn't even pass the ball through and also this was really annoying for me Ramirez was just dominating Fellaini like second in form Fellaini like 90 odd strength he's absolutely huge and he was just getting bullied everywhere by Ramirez so that wasn't going too well and we were just destined for a loss there we thought we got away with it when he blocked his free kick but somehow a little bit more age drops down to his player and Carlos Eduardo just smashes it into the far corner so it was not going our way at all 
But we do that thing where you kick off, you make a through ball run and just twat it over the top with the player that you give it back to. But unfortunately, once more, super interceptions and the shot is blocked. Although we were 3-0 down, we were still playing reasonably well. Like, he deserved to be in front because he was taking his chances a lot better than we were. But we were having a pretty even amount of chances. He was just defending them a lot better than I was. Like, when he ran down the line and did that little shuffle backwards and forwards, I couldn't deal with it. And I couldn't even score when I was trying to score tramp goals. Even resorting to long shots with Theo Walcott, whose long shots are actually pretty decent. But it still wasn't going to happen for me. And then we almost get the luckiest goal I have ever scored on FIFA. Wasn't going for it at all, but it almost swung into the back post. And then you can see, once more, just an example of my... At this point, I've resorted to using the second man to contain, because I was doing it myself, not containing. I was jockeying backwards and forwards and trying to read them and stuff like that, because if you contain against people like when they're doing that, you just get absolutely ripped to shreds. But I was even getting ripped to shreds when I was doing the jockeying myself, so I'd resorted to the second man doing it, and me just trying to cover it up. And it was working pretty well, but we do get mugged off once more, lets it go through his legs, and unfortunately, when he takes that shot on with his left foot, our interceptions aren't quite as good as his, even though that was in form Koscielny, and Wellington just smashes it past our keeper with his left foot. You can see there, he has only got two men in the box, because he was on defensive, which is probably why it was taking us a long time to break him down and get them chances. Meanwhile, he was just absolutely smashing us on the counter, and he had managed to get it up to 4-0. And that was how the game ended, so it was pretty disappointing, if in all honesty. Like, it wasn't that bad of a game from me. I just couldn't get into his box and have some decent chances, whereas every time he went on the attack, he was scoring. So, fair play to Nep. He played extremely well, and basically just thank you for giving me the game and representing that gym leader. And we are pretty pissed off at our team playing that badly and not getting the win against the gym leader. So, we are going to go stick them in the PC, and we're going to get ourselves a new squad out. So, we have withdrew a level 1 Serie A squad, and we're going to go into our PC now, into the part that belongs to us rather than Bill. And we're going to check out the team that we are going to be going for. So, you can see as it comes up on the screen as we access it. It is going to be a bronze, non-rare Serie A team. And what we're going to be doing is going to be working up back to all rare goals and then all in form. And then maybe even team of the season, if I can afford it by that point. And hopefully be getting ourselves a much better team than the informed BPL one that will be able to beat them gym leaders when it comes to it. So lads, that is the end of the episode. Hopefully you did enjoy it, even though we didn't get that win. And a massive thank you to Nepenthes as well. If by some massive coincidence you don't know who Nepo is, I will leave a link to his channel in the description. I know I said I wouldn't at the start, because you'll all know who he is. But there is going to be one down there, of course. So go and check him out if for some mad reason you've never heard of Nepo before. But apart from that, that is the team that we are going to be cracking on with. We will be back to challenge the gym leader once more. It won't be Nepenthes next time. It'll just be a random online game because if we just kept playing them until we won, it would take the sort of specialness away from the first time that we played them and the big massive thing resting on it as whether we will get that gym badge first time against the YouTuber. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Like I said, if you have, do be sure to drop it a like. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button as we will be coming back with the bronze Serie A team and working it all the way back up to inform gold so until then lads i hope you have enjoyed it thanks for watching and i will see you next time